mission is to preserve land and to steward that land in perpetuity. So we work with landowners, organizations, people around to find ways to conserve land forever for the sake of wildlife, working farms, water, and um, mainly to preserve our quality of life and our natural heritage. The CMLC started in 1994 uh, when a uh, small group of folks, uh, futuristically minded uh, folks, got together and decided that land is important to save. And uh, that's why we do this each year and have for 11 plus years, conservation celebration. Greg and John J. Redden are the owners of this property. I would like to thank you for ha having us here tonight and for what you've done. First, how many of you have heard about the 8,000 acres that Charles Taylor is, ta is, is conserving near the DuPont State Forest. They're able to raise capital to acquire land and then conserve it and through partnerships able to turn that land into new state parks, new county parks, new municipal parks. A lot of landowners are not aware of the possibilities for conservation. So one of the places we start is by having people who've already conserved land talk to their neighbors. We go out and talk to people who are abutting other important conservation projects and what we do is let them know of the variety of ways that they can conserve land. 50% of your adjusted income can be offset by the value of a donated easement on the federal level. And there's a 15 year carry forward. On the state level, you get a 25% tax credit. And there's a five year carry forward. From a pretty sparse beginning, I think John Humphreys was our first uh, conservation easement to taking on projects as wonderful as World's Edge, which really, because CMLC made that huge step to the turn of about $16 million, we now have the state park at Chimney Rock Park. And I say that uh, without any hesitation, if CMLC hadn't have done what they did, Carolina Mountain Land Conservancy, State Park may not have done what they did. I'm very fond of the World's Edge property, which is 1,500 acres next to Chimney Rock. And we just recently acquired Weed Patch Mountain, which was part of a development north of Lake Lure. And that's another 1,500 acres that we've conserved and own, you know, actually own or have, are giving to the state. So this is land that we know will be cared for forever. Everybody, to a person, loves what they're doing. I, I can't think of a more energized and dynamic environment than CMLC. The thing that I'm most concerned about in the future with CMLC is the population that growth that's expected for Western North Carolina is actually still pretty tremendous. And the pressure that we're going to have on the wildlife, on the working farms, on the water, I don't think people have anticipated yet. So at the very time when our funding is the hardest to get is the time when we need to be preserving the most. So my main concern is having us be out ahead of the population growth so that we can have a place for both the people to live and the wildlife. Once you've saved it, it's done. It's forever. And it's piece by piece. The best gets saved.